Yes, hello Peter. Can you tell us about uh, Peter Deng Express? Well, uh, thanks so much, uh, Akim, for asking that question. Well, Peter Deng Express uh, is a company that I started uh, uh, in 2011. That's when I formed the company as a transportation company. And its success has been based on the high commitment from me and all the employees uh, that I hired. I had the very committed people, people who can carry the mission on. When I started Peter Deng Express was as a transportation company. Then after I, I flew to, uh, to Uganda, Kenya, and South Sudan for a visit, uh, I went and see that there was a need in the money transfer and that people were not being served to my expectation by other companies that were doing that kind of business of uh, being transferring money. So I came in and started the trans uh, money transfer department, which is now Peter Deng Express for money transfer which has been serving the people of South Sudan, Kenya, and Uganda, making money transfer very easy, five minutes and the money is at the destination where it needs to be. Now, it, what makes us stand out among the other competitors is how committed we are, and the best advice that I can give to people out there, those who want to start the companies, is you do what you love, not don't do something for money. And the success of Peter Ding is based on uh, is, is all around uh, of what I love, and I love to see Peter Deng become successful. I love to help people. Now I have over 20 employees uh, that I hired, you know, the, the staff that work for me now, and all are very young, committed toward, uh, committed toward the mission of the company, and the mission is that uh, we want to provide the excellent services to the uh, people of South Sudan, people of Uganda, and people of Kenya, making the money transfer easier than it has ever been before. So, as you can see, this workshop here, these are all the stuff of uh, Peter Ding Express. They're very excited, and you can see how creative they are. You know, building a successful company is it, not only from one person, it's about the kind of the leadership that you have in place. People usually say, I need money to build a very successful company. That's not true. All what you need is the idea. And then, and the energy to keep going when you fell down today, you get up tomorrow and keep running. The marathon is not yet done. It's about running until you reach the finishing line and keep running so that the, the, second, the second competitor does not catch up with you. And that's what we're doing with Peter Ding at present now. And so as you can see, these are all my employees and they're very committed and we're going to put, uh, we're going to put in more energy and very soon uh, Peter Ding is going to be very commercial. It's going to turn into a commercial uh, bonds, not just a money transfer the way it is now. Now, my advice to young entrepreneurs is that never, never let other people decide for you. You know, you asked before that what is the advice that I can give to young people who want to start up the business. Listen to the people advice, but don't let them decide for you. Because the moment you let them decide for you, at the end you find yourself in the level one or zero level, you know, and the other people who took the advice and then decide for themselves on what they know is good, they become successful. You know, no one knows better than you. No one knows more than what you know. So you know what you want to be. You know when you want to be. All what you need is the advice and then you come and put together all these millions of advice that people give you and then you decide on what you want to do. And so when you're going out there knowing what you want to do, you always know that you are going to get some negative advice and you're going to get some positive advice that will help you grow or build a very successful company like what I did now. Uh, another thing that you have to, that the young entrepreneurs and the business people have to pay attention to are the people, the friends, our friends. You know, never listen to Never, ne ne never bring an idea to your friends and say, what do you think? Because our friends are our friends and they will always compliment. They will not say any negative thing about what we are doing. Because they, they, they say that will hurt our friendship. So always go for people who are not too friend to you and have them for the advice because when they see that you're not doing something good, they will be very open to you though. So you know, that is not good. What you're doing is not going to be very successful or you're not going to prosper. You're not going to prosper, you know, in the future. 
And so I had, when I started 2011, I found one of my best friends. And the first thing that he told me is like, this is not going to be a very successful company, just wasting your time and money. And, uh, and he told me the reason why. So I answered the reason. I answered the reason as to why he thinks it was not going to be successful. And after I give him the explanation, he said, okay, go for it. This is not going to be successful. Now, that's what we call the true friend who is willing and ready to challenge. But then in 2012, I met one of my other friends, women, who said everything was good. And, you know, when I, when I only had uh, three branches in South Sudan, and he encouraged me to continue those three branches, not to open more branches. You know, I said, what do you think? I feel like having three branches not open more. He said, yeah, that's a great idea. Opening more branches is going to opening more branches. When the reality is opening more branches in South Sudan is going to make the company grow big and going to make the company thousands of dollars, you know, like we're doing right now. So w what did I do? I didn't check that. I divided from the friends. I said, okay. Then I came and sat down and decided myself and I said, look, that's not a good way. I can't stay with three branches. I need to open more branches. I mean, which is number three is always go with what you love. Don't don't go into the business just because you love money. You, you need money. If you go to the business because you get into the business because you need money, then chances are that there are high chances that you can collapse, in which you will fail to achieve your goal. But if you get into something that you love. So when I started Peter Daniel Press, it was I love to change the life of people. And the best way I can do it was creating a company that will transport people at a very cheap price. And then finally, creating a department which is now become a big company now, Peter Dinger Press for money transfer, as a way of making money transfer easy so that people could send the money uh, today and the, the, the receiver get it today. Now, if the person has to be taken to hospital, then that person's life is safe because it's a five minute service and the money is at the destination, which the competitors were not doing before. So I went in to, to close the gap. What was the gap was to close that gap. And that's what I'm doing now, closing that gap. And I love doing that. And I'm not doing it for money. Now money is coming in in a way that, you know, I'm not even realizing that I'm making money. But first, when I get in, I didn't get in to, to make money. I get in to save the life of people, make the money transfer easy, and make the transportation easier for my people. But now, they're benefiting, and I'm benefiting, and I'm happy with what I'm doing, and that's what the young entrepreneurs do. You don't create an idea, you don't create a business from nowhere. Your business has already been created. All what you need to do is see where there's a gap. What is that particular thing that the person is not doing? Like when I opened up a money transfer department, there are so many companies that were doing money transfer there. You know them. Like some of them are Amal Express and Dapshio, and the many other local companies. But when I came in, I saw what was the gap. And I said, okay, let me go in and close the gap. And I'm very sure another competitor will come in later on and see what I'm missing and create the company to come and fulfill that. That is how it is. You'll never create anything that has never been created before. And so you just have to see what is missing there and get into the business and fulfill it. And now that's what we're doing. And that's what makes us become so successful. We're not competing but we're fulfilling what has been missing for a long time. So the best thing also is to, in order to close those gaps, you have to have a good committed team, like what I do now. All this committed team that you can see, uh, this was the workshop that we did, and you can see these are all committed employees for me, and I'm good and a lucky guy in the world, having such a committed team. Uh, when you have people who are very committed, very talented, have different, I would think differently from uh, than the way you think, then there's nothing that will prevent you from, from being successful. Also, surrounded yourself with people who, who are better, who are better thinkers, but not the people that you can overlook. People who can even think higher than you is one of the very key ways of being successful. And that is one of the things that I use in, in Peter Ding Express is bringing in people that I know can make a better decision when I'm not there. Can make a better decision while I'm there with them. Whether I'm there or I'm not there, they are on their way to make a good decision that will serve this company. These are the team that I have. I have people who come up with their ideas overnight that I didn't even have. And then we put that idea to work and tomorrow we're on the top of the game. And this year in 2014, 
we were running in the Equatoria as the best number one company in terms of monitoring the well. You think this is not true? Go to our website. If you feel like you want to invest with us, why not? Go to our website www.peterdane.com and see what we can, and see how we can run the business together. If you have a business idea and you want to start the business today, why not see me? Thank you.